Hey guys, and welcome to Learn Chinese Now. Today, we're going to learn about the differences between xiang and yao. This is what someone asked for in one of the comments. So, let's start with xiang. Now, the first uh, examples of this we're going to look for are when the character is used before a noun. And so, in the case of xiang, if you use it before a noun, for example, someone's name or pronoun uh, referring to a person, for example, 我想你, okay? That would mean, I miss you, okay? And equally, if you said, um, 我想我家, it would mean, I miss my home, okay? So, but this only refers to when you are missing something that is very, very close to you. So if you were talking about um, an object or a thing, uh, let's say you'd given up coffee and you really missed it, uh, you wouldn't say 我想咖啡, uh, because that would probably mean, uh, well, yeah, it just doesn't, um, it doesn't mean I miss coffee. Uh, so you would say 我想念咖啡, uh, that would mean to miss coffee. Now let's, let's turn our, let's turn our attention to 要, so using 要 just before a noun, um, something like 我要你, uh, you wouldn't say that. Okay, that's not something people say, I want you, okay? It's very creepy sounding, so don't say that to people. Um, if you were to say, 我要咖啡, that would just mean, I want coffee. So let's move on to the second section of this, which is really the sort of important section, which is using xiang and yao in a, like a full sentence. So if I was to say, 我想吃冰淇淋, okay? I want to eat ice cream. Now, that would mean... Okay, you gotta go. That would mean, I want to eat ice cream. But it's sort of more like uh, expressing a desire. Like, I'm thinking about... I'm sitting here daydreaming about eating ice cream. I would really love to eat ice cream. I want to eat ice cream. It doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna go through on it and actually eat ice cream or go to the refrigerator, take some ice cream out of the freezer or go down to the ice cream store and eat it, okay? But if you were to say, 我要吃冰淇淋, okay, that would mean, I want to eat ice cream, and it's, you're gonna follow through with it. You're gonna eat it, all right? If you were in a restaurant, you would say, oh, 我要吃冰淇淋, and the guy will bring you some. Uh, whereas, if you look at 想, uh, 我想吃冰淇淋, it would be more like, oh, I'm love, I'd love to eat some ice cream right now. So that's kind of the difference. 想 is uh, more about a thought or a feeling. And, and 想 on its own can mean to think. If I say, 你想一想, it's like, hey, you think about it, you know? 想一想. Um, whereas, 要, it's not, it's about want or need to do something. Um, and let's look at another example of the uh, 想 and 要 in two sentences. Um, so if I was walking on the street, uh, and I'm like, hmm, 我想喝茶, okay? I'm like thinking about it, ooh, I'd like to, I'd like to drink some tea. But I haven't quite decided yet, I'm just sort of thinking about that, so I really like that, you know? And then, um, if I say, let's say I've made up my mind, and right, I'm gonna drink the tea, okay? 我要找个茶馆, okay? 我要找个茶馆, okay? I want to find a tea house. And that, remember, with 要, you're gonna follow through, okay? It's like, I want to do this, and I'm gonna follow through and do it. Now, <clears throat> So that's another example of the differences between xiang and yao. Xiang is more about a thought or a desire, and yao is more like, I definitely want to do this, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna follow through and actually do it. Um, now, in addition to meaning want, yao also means to need, okay? And for people who are, you know, speak English, want and need are like two separate words, but in Chinese, actually, yao can express both, and we have to get our minds a little bit around it. Um, that this same word can be used to express both. And actually, both words, if you sort of open your mind to it, both words are kind of the same. Um, when, uh, when you sort of stretch the meaning of it, they are kind of the same meaning. So, if I said, um, let's say I'm at a friend's house, and I say, oh, 我要走, it means, oh, I gotta go, okay? 我要走. It doesn't necessarily mean I want to go, it could mean I want to go. Like, if I was like, Oh, 我, 我不要留在这里, 我真的要走, I, all right? I don't, I don't want to stay here, I, I have to go, I really want to go. Um, I guess, I, you know, if I emphasize that, but if I just say 我要走, it's, it's 
like, I need to go, I gotta go. Maybe my car's outside, the meter is, time's up and I gotta go or else I get a ticket. So, <clears throat> yao can mean need to, in addition to meaning to want to. All right, and Westerners, because they, um, they speak English and they have this sort of like notion that want and need are two separate words, they always, they, they will often use, because you can uh, be more specific about it. And you could say xiang yao, which would mean want. That's definitely very clear that that's wanting to do something. And xu yao, which means to need. Okay, that's emphasizing this is needing something. Okay, so that's like being very specific about it. And often Westerners will be like, oh, 我需要这个, 我想要那个, like really making it clear, like this is what I want, this is what I need when they use it. Um, because they're used to the grammar of their own language. But actually, very often, um, these things, you, whether you want something or need something, you can just use the word yao. Uh, I, I need to go to the supermarket today, or I want to go to the supermarket today. One or the other, who knows what it is, right? <laughs> so, um, that's a little bit about uh, how to use yao. Um, so guys, just remember, xiang is more about uh, an emotion, sort of a feeling, like thinking about something, a desire to want something, and yao. Uh, is about wanting something or needing something, but the key point is you follow through. It's something you're actually going to do. All right, that's kind of the key point. Xiang is more like a dream, more like a thought, more like yeah, I love for, a desire for something. Um, so I think I hope that I've explained that to you clearly. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Learn Chinese Now. I want to also thank the sponsor of this episode, italki.com. Guys, if you're looking for a Chinese teacher or a tutor just to take you through uh, practice, some of the practice we are Chinese with, don't hesitate to check out their site, italki.com. And uh, there's a link here for a buy one, get one free deal for new users of the site. That's if you go through and actually um, pay for a teacher, which are priced very reasonably, by the way. But if you're not 100% sure you want a teacher, you can just follow this link, go and have a look at their site. There's a lot of articles on there that might be helpful for you guys uh, about learning Chinese. And you can also look for language exchanges, uh, people to sort of meet up with online and you can practice your Chinese together. So do click that link guys, check them out. They've been supporting this channel uh, since last year and they've done a great job. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos of crazy stuff happening in Asia, in Asia, do check out our Only in Asia channel. I've put the links to some of the more recent videos on the end card of this video, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Zaijian!